Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2. In this video we're going to go over solving systems of three equations, the case when we have three equations and three unknown variables. So we'll go over an example and solve by using elimination and then you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. Also if you need to review how to solve a system of two equations, please check out the video right here. So three systems of equations happen when they are are three equations, usually with three unknown variables, usually represented as x, y, and z, and they are graphed or shown algebraically. So we're all used to using the two-dimensional coordinate plane where x goes across and y goes vertical, but now with a new unknown variable, z, this gives us a new three-dimensional axis. So we have the x axis and the y axis, which we're used to, but now we also have this third z axis, which makes it 3D, which is pretty cool. So instead of graphing lines um, with these equations, they end up graphing as planes. So just to give you an example of what this looks like, it might look something like this. Um, you won't have to worry about this though. This looks crazy, I know. But um, it's just to give you an example of what this looks like graphically. But you won't be asked to like make this on a test or anything. So now let's go to our example and solve algebraically by using elimination. Let's solve this question right here. So we're going to need to solve for each unknown variable x, y, and z. So when doing elimination, I always like to first label each equation. So to start, I'm just going to label each equation 1, 2, or 3. So this will just let us keep track of the equations we're going to be using. So getting back to elimination, we want to pick two equations from our list here where something cancels out. So right away when I see these first two, I see that the z's are going to cancel out because we have a positive z and a minus z. So if we add them together, the z's will cancel out. So let's just use the first two equations right here. So we have one, which is this first equation, 2x plus 2y plus z equals 20. And then we have the second equation here. Negative 3x minus y minus z equals negative 18. So we're going to be adding these together. So when we do that, we're going to get 2 plus minus 3x. This gives us minus x plus y. 2y plus, plus minus y. So it's really like 2 minus y. And then the z is positive z plus minus z. This is going to cancel out. And then we get 20 plus negative 18, which just gives us 2. So we can't do anything yet with this, but we did get rid of one variable. So it's a work in process. So this was just like our first step for elimination. So now we picked one pair, so let's pick another pair with the same goal. So we're gonna pick two equations again, a different pair of equations. Now let's, um, let's look at these two down here. So equations two and three. So we have two. So this is second equation right here is negative three X minus Y minus C equals negative 18. This is an X. And then the third equation. So something about these problems is that you always want, you always have the goal of canceling out the same variable. So when we did this, we canceled out Z. So when we look at the next pair of equations, we have our goal. We want to cancel out that same variable we canceled out already. Which in this case is z. So, but what if you look at z minus z plus 2z, they're not going to cancel out as easily as they did here. So what we're going to have to do is multiply this entire equation times 2. So when we do that, we get negative 6x minus 2y minus 2z, and then this is a minus 18, which becomes minus 36. 
And then down here, this equation is gonna stay exactly the same. X plus Y plus two Z equals 16. So now we're going to add all of this together, these two equations together. So when we do that, we're going to get negative five X minus Y. And then now our Z's cancel out, negative two Z plus two Z, that cancels out. And then we have negative 36 plus 16, which just gives us minus 20. So, okay, so we did, we, we took two pairs of equations and then we ended up with more equations. So we didn't even get any values for variables yet, but we're, we're on our way because what we're gonna do is we're going to take the equations we found. So take the equations we found. So we're gonna take those two and then start doing elimination. So when we do that, so let's try that. So we have negative x plus y equals two, and then negative five x minus y equals negative 20. So notice our y's can cancel out super easy here. So negative five x plus negative x, this just gives us negative six x. And then we have y plus negative y cancels out. And then negative 20 plus two is negative 18. So divide both sides and hopefully you see where we're going with this. We get X equals three. So there's one answer. Okay, so we got somewhere, finally. Now let's take our three and plug it back into one of our equations. Uh, let's go with this one. So one of the equations we found in the last step. So we have negative three. So this gives us y equals five. So we're almost done. So now we have an x equals three, we have a y equals five. So let's go back to one of our original equations in the question and plug in two times three for x plus two times five for y plus c is the last variable we need to find equals 20. And then this gives us six plus 10 plus c equals 20. Which gives us an answer of z equals four. So now, all together we have our answers of x equals three, y equals five, and z equals four. And if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are in the description below, up on my blog, mathsucks.org. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!